I bought from the champagne line. And then, ooh, sorry. Hey everyone, it's Sammy. So I shot this video a week ago um, and I had clearly forgotten everything about how to make YouTube videos, how to show makeup, how to talk about products. So I'm reshooting this again because it was pathetic, honestly. <laughs> um, I am just out of practice. So for those of you who are new to the channel and just came here to see a um, Korea and Japan haul, um, I used to make lots and lots of makeup videos and then I stopped um, in 2018. I did a few when COVID started, but really, yeah, my channel hasn't been super active. But um, I went to China, Korea and Japan and bought lots of stuff and really I couldn't help but like, I, I just want to share this stuff with you. So there's going to be two videos, one, um, this one, which is makeup and skincare. And then I'm going to make a completely separate one for uh, makeup brushes because obviously Japan is the mecca for makeup brushes. So that deserves completely its own video. Depending on how this goes, <laughs> I might shoot it today or I might shoot it next weekend. I can't shoot it next weekend. Anyway, let's see. But uh, let's look at makeup first. Oh, and yeah, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please press the subscribe button and press the little thingy that alerts you if I put out a new video. Um, if you guys are still there, because I don't know if anybody's still watching, my subscriber numbers have gone down a little bit, but not by that much considering that I'm not making videos. So um, hopefully someone will see this. And if enough people like it, or if you guys comment, then Maybe they'll, you know, start making them again. I don't know. Anyhow, let's do makeup. Most of the makeup is from um, Seoul and most of the makeup was from um, Olive Young. Anybody that has been to South Korea knows that Olive Young is like their Sephora. Um, and I am gonna start with my favorite new line of makeup, new for me, uh, which is, uh, I'm gonna completely bastardize how you say this. It's called Jung, <laughs> okay. Jung Saimol, um, like this. Uh, it is uh, a makeup artist. She's a makeup artist in Korea and she's got a great line of makeup and I am completely, I'm wearing the foundation today. Uh, so cushion foundations are massive in um, Korea. So you basically get like a little spongy thing and the sponges are good and I bought some extra ones and then like the cushion. Um, this foundation is insane. I wish I had bought a whole bunch. Luckily, you when you buy it, you do get refills. It was relatively inexpensive as well, compared well compared to foundations that you sometimes buy here in Europe. Um, but it is mine. She has a few different ones, and mine is the Essential Skin Neuter Cushion SPF 50. Uh, love it. I also bought a. Um, it's called Skin Setting tone balancing base uh which is more of a traditional one it has an spf of 50 as well uh, both are amazing this one is maybe the tiniest little bit too light for me uh, everybody like buys makeup there that's a tiny bit too light for their skin tone whereas i'm not used to doing that and the um sales girl really wanted me to get this shade she actually wanted me to get one even lighter but um nonetheless uh foundation uh not foundation so powder from the same line uh really really good it was so good that i bought um another one of them as well um completely essential and then her highlighters oh my god i'm actually not wearing this highlighter today i'll show you the one i am wearing but these highlighters reflect lilac and that is my favorite kind of highlighter. So I like pearly lilac. I know it sounds insane um, to have like lilac reflections, but honestly it works way better. And somehow, even though I've got a warm skin tone, somehow lilac-y pearly um, ones work really well. So there's one that's very, very pale. You probably won't be able to see it here. One that has a little bit more of a pearlescent. Can you see, let's see. Oh, baby. Oh, only thing you can see is my terrible veins on my hand. 
and then one that almost has uh, like, oh, you can't really see that it. it has a little bit of rosy gold in it. Anyhow, amazing palette. I wish I would have bought two of these. Um, I did buy her eyeshadow palette, not so much for the quality of the eyeshadows. I just wanted a uh, palette that was really um, kind of Korean toned. So everybody wears like this kind of eye colors over there. So there's a lot of pinkiness going on. Um, I am wearing this palette today. However, I'm wearing, um, what is it? Taylor Gray, um, the paint pump from Mac Under. So it's coming across as a little bit darker. But uh, for example, this color, so good. This is like the perfect transition color, that one. And this one is a great pearlescent one. I'll put all of the products below, like what shades they are. And so, so that if you are interested, I do need to find out where I can get um, her stuff here. I think that was it for that brand. Clio uh, is another great one, it's a little bit cheaper, um, but their cushion foundation. This one has more coverage than the Jung Saimo, uh, which is a little bit more natural skin. Uh, I really don't know if you can see what my skin looks like. Um, this is the highlighter I'm wearing today. So I hope that when I'm doing this, you can see the highlighter. Uh, again, it, it's sort of like a, looks like a champagne rosy gold, but this too has a, uh, a little bit of lilac reflection. It's definitely highlighty, highlightier, kind of shinier than uh, the Young Samuel, uh, but I absolutely love this. Again, wish I had bought a second one, but I didn't know what I would love when I was there. So um, I just hope I can order some of these. Couple of blushes. Uh, this is the one that I'm wearing today. I don't know how it's pronounced. Fee, F-W-E-E. -E. It's like one of those cushiony things again. It's so, it's a really like, it's a big pleasure to use because like when you put your finger in there, it kind of bounces, love it. Um, love this kind of Cherise color. I use it on lips as well. And then, oh my God, Can Make. These I actually bought in Japan. Can Make, I've had lots of clients that have uh, Can Make stuff. And the texture of these is so good. This one is a super neutral one. I'm actually using it on my lips today as well. I use it as lipstick. It's the perfect matte lipstick. This one is super red, but in the most flattering kind of way. The way they blend it to the skin is just insane. It goes into nothing. The texture feels so nice. So um, I haven't seen Can Makes uh, here in Europe anywhere, but they are amazing. Speaking of Can Make, oh my God. So this mascara, is a can make mascara. But, so the brush is like nothing. It's just a little thing. It's like metal. But, and initially when you start putting this on, that's the mascara I'm wearing today. It feels like nothing's going on and you get frustrated, but then all of a sudden it builds your lashes up in a really, really natural way and a really kind of fan type way. Uh, it is waterproof. Uh, not crazy, crazy waterproof. I'll show you another one that I bought that is too waterproof for me. But um, yeah, this I love, need to find somewhere. The other one that I bought is um, Heron's. Uh, Heron, hold on. Heron Make Long and Curl Mascara. This one, it has one of those kind of um, curly ones. Yeah, this is way too waterproof for me. I really struggle to get it off. So uh, I'm probably gonna use this on brides that cry a lot <laughs> because I don't have the patience to try and get waterproof mascara off my eyes um, every night. Um, two concealers. This one is by Clio. And again, like the tiniest ones, because it has like a doe foot, but this is so teeny tiny and I love it um, because I just put it where I have shadows and I don't put concealer under my whole eye. I don't have particularly dark under eyes but I get like a line here, a shadow. So I use it for that and also um, I don't know like if uh, any of you ladies remember we all used to be really obsessed by the Maestro, Armani Maestro under eye concealer. I don't know around 2012, 2013. This reminds me of that, not only because the application, but also the way that it goes. It's really kind of lovely. I love it. For the face, I bought a Can Make Concealer, 
Unfortunately, I have a spot right there. It's covered, but it creates its own little shadow, which really annoys me. Um, to kind of make the concealer, again, the texture is so nice. Oh my God. It just, the textures are so spot on in these products um, from the Far East. Two more eye things. Um, this one is vanilla. And this is like the perfect uh, mauve color for your outer third of your lower lash line. Um, Asian women do a lot of like just moviness around here. I have a little bit of dark brown on top of it because I like a little bit more definition. I wish I had bought 50 of these because I will forever wear it. Hold on, it's right there. So it's just like a mauve, but it's somehow the shade of it. It has the right amount of gray in it, right amount of tiniest bit of rosiness in it, tiniest bit of beige, it's just, Perfect, I have to find this online. Um, can make uh, eyebrow pencil wearing today, just like one of those ones that does the teeny tiniest little, hmm, you, can, you probably can't see it. Um, lines, feathery little strokes. I don't like eyebrows that are super filled in. I like to see skin in between each one of the brows. Um, yeah, lip products. Um, this is just a lip balm by DHC. Needed a lip balm, bought a lip balm, lost my lip balm, bought this. Um, so I bought bought this because I lost my lip balm and uh, amazing, love it. I've used some DHC um, skin oil thingy before. Then I bought a couple of matte lip products and one that's shiny. So, hold on, look at, look at how cute these are. So I love the, like the, it looks like somebody's just put some blush here. And the same with this one. They are both Clio, I think these were. And this one, they're both kind of, okay, it's coming across a little bit rosier here, but it's more like your lips, but better type color. And then this one has a doe foot applicator. Uh, 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 uh. It's a lot more pink, it's so beautiful. The textures, I'm sorry, I'm like all about textures now with all these products, but they are, Perfect, and the way they blend into your skin, it just makes you feel good. Uh, one more, this one is a little tiny bit peachier, I think, and it's shiny. Um, I do wear shiny sometimes, not often though. There, so skincare. I feel like I'm gonna have to start with the most important thing for me. It's the most expensive, most important, the thing that I'm most excited about, and then I'll show you the rest. Um, SK2, I bought two. <laughs> I, uh, I once had a little teeny tiny bottle of this, like half the size. These are, I think these are 200 milliliters. Um, and it does do something amazing to your skin, especially if you use it for a couple of weeks. Your skin just becomes plumper, healthier, more youthful, just better. I mean, it doesn't, you know, it's not magic it doesn't take away wrinkles or um it doesn't make you 12 all of a sudden but it does it just does something you just feel so much better in your own skin pun intended um but uh so as you can see i started using it um i've used this now for just over two weeks three weeks oh well, just over two weeks and uh i bought it at the airport in tokyo and i think that that is literally the cheapest place you can buy it these Two were probably about, I don't know, 250 euros, maybe, something like that together. I know it's insanely expensive, but they're gonna last me a really long time. And by the time they run out, I'll travel there again, uh, cause I'm gonna be hooked. Um, yeah, I can already see a difference when I don't wear a foundation. So, mm -hmm. I love it. Uh, other things. Uh, this is the total opposite spectrum as far as it comes to cost. It's uh, Iastura Auto Barrier Cream. I had read about this um, in blogs and actually in uh, blogs, uh, Singaporean blogs, because I thought, you know, we get going from Europe to the Far East and Korea, like especially, yeah, South Korea. Um, so we are really into the Korean products, but I wanted to know what a uh, an, a person that already lives in Asia that has access to a lot of these, what would they buy when they go to Korea? So I like, I thought that they would buy the best of the best. This one costs almost nothing. I got two of them and it's uh, 
it's just a super simple kind of like a barrier cream that builds a barrier in your skin but it feels so good there's no scent to it it sinks in wonderfully it's really wonderful under makeup and it costs nothing so you you feel like you can you know just use it tons of it tons of it uh, I also uh, bought the Innisfree. Innisfree I've had before, love Innisfree. Their green, uh, green tea seed hyaluronic serum, wonderful. Very watery, I would say, instead of gloopy. And I prefer um, watery. It just goes in really, really fast. Um, there's no stickiness left or anything like that. So I really like that. Uh, Cosrx, we can get these um, here as well. Uh, however, I needed um, I needed a cleanser. I'd only taken a little teeny tiny cleanser with me. Um, and so I bought the low pH good morning gel cleanser and low pH good night soft peeling gel. The peeling gel I'm not as big a fan of. This one I love. I love the scent. I got a travel size as well. Um, and it really, really uh, cleans your skin without stripping it. So I love that. This I wish I had bought a bigger size. This is a cleansing oil by Mamio. Uh, herb, pre, herb green cleansing oil. I love the scent. So clean. Um, yeah, and I wish a little goes a long way, but I wish I had bought a bigger one of these. So I'm going to have to see if I can find it online. Um, other skincare. So this is a new line for me. Um, I spent so much time at Olive Young. Um, and now looking at receipts, I was like logging everything um, that I bought. Uh, I went there every day when I was in Seoul. Slightly sad. Uh, I didn't spend tons of money every day, but still. Uh, so I'm gonna bastardize this name as well. Uh, it is Hanuil, maybe. Hanuil. Um, so I, they had several ranges. Um, I ended up getting this um, pure art, uh, Artemisia, whatever that means. Pure Artemisia, um, calming water cream. I also got a travel one. It feels amazing on skin. It feels like if your skin is feeling in any way, so I've got sensitive skin and it can get like, not reddish, but just, I don't know. It feels disturbed <laughs> and this is wonderful. Uh, love it. I haven't actually opened their essence yet because I'm using the, the SK. So I haven't opened their essence yet. Uh, I'm saving it. And then like eventually probably, cause I assume that I'm gonna get a new one of these because I really, really, really like it. Um, we'll see. And I think that this is gonna be my summer face cream. This will probably be a little bit too rich for the summer. Obviously I bought <laughs> uh, a ridiculous amount of, I don't even know how to show these. And I've already used the ridiculous amount. So you can imagine how much they were. A ridiculous amount of masks all different kinds. Their mask bars are intense. There are so many options. Um, and actually, I saved this one that I used a few days ago just to show you because this has been my favorite so far. It's called Mediancer Pure Collagen Mask. Oh my God. Like, you know, sometimes when you put on a mask and you actually see a difference, most of the time you don't really, or it's like a placebo thing. With that one, you actually saw a difference. Um, so I'm gonna find that online and I'm gonna buy tons of them. But yeah, I'm slowly working through this stash. Other masky things, um, I haven't seen these here. So these, uh, this is called Steam Based Daily Eye Mask. It heats up, so it has a little thing that you kind of put it behind the ear, goes over your eyes, you can't see anything. It's not like under eye patches, it goes over your eyes. And they have like different scents and things, but it's so relaxing. It's so calming. And I thought that if it heats up, it wouldn't be calming because I'm used to putting cold things under my eyes. Actually, this is a game changer for me. I love it. I wish I would have bought several packs of these. I, what I did buy a whole bunch of is different kinds of um, pimple patches with the needles in, because I love the ones with needles because you kind of press it into the skin, it hurts a little bit, but then you feel like the things are going in. I've got different kinds, um, trying them out. Also, pore strips, they really, I'm a lover of pore strips. I know they're controversial, but I, I love pore strips. This is the traditional kind that like literally pulls it out. These ones actually have a cleansing one and then one that somehow 
I don't know what it does, but your pores are clean afterwards. So first you clean it and then you put the strip on, but it's not one that pulls out uh, like any sebum in your pores. It just somehow disappears. I don't know where it goes. It's magic. Um, but yeah, I love that. Uh, different kinds of travel size makeup removers, always important. And then I got uh, different kinds of blotting papers. Love blotting papers. Blotting papers for some reason are becoming more difficult to find. I don't know. And then I bought like a whole bunch of different kinds. Like these are individually wrapped Q-tips, bunches of applicators for the, for the foamy things, for the cushion foundations, things like that. Um, one thing that I need to mention at the very end, I can, this is probably placebo. So I um, ran out of my body cream and the hotel one didn't have one that I was specifically fond of. So I just thought I'm, I'm gonna go, this was in Japan, I'm gonna go and just buy something normal like Nivea from a pharmacy. So I just bought the normal Nivea Q10 body lotion. I've had this in Europe so many times. I think this is completely placebo because this is way better. <laughs> like it makes your skin feel way better. It probably doesn't. It's probably in my head because it's like, oh, it's from the Far East, it's gonna be better. Um, but I swear it is better. <laughs> it's probably not. So anyways, that is my skincare makeup haul. Um, hold on, I'm gonna show you just a sneak preview of the brushes that I bought. Once. So um, I was umming and eyeing what line of brushes am I going to buy in, um, in Japan because they obviously, they've got the food culture. They have made brushes forever. Their brushes are the best. Um, and I was like, ooh, hakuhodu, chikuhodu, da 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 da, what do I get? Uh, and on the first night there, um, at our dinner, there was this PR woman, a uh, local PR woman, beautiful, amazing, really loved her, and she was so nice. Um, and she had hakuhodu brushes, specifically, you know, the classic, this is like the most classic color. And I was like, she's a Japanese PR woman that is stunning and I love her. Uh, if, if, it's, if that's what she chooses, then I am choosing the same thing. So I bought for myself, um, I bought the classic line, but these aren't the best for uh, makeup brush belts. So for makeup brush belts, I bought from the champagne line and then, ooh, sorry, okay. So I bought from the champagne line and then they've got this new black line and oh my God, the brushes. I will describe every single brush to you in detail in a brushes, Hakuhodo brushes video. But seriously, this, this little thing is like air. It's, it's insane. It's like, I was gonna say, it's like an angel kissing you, but it's not like, I think an angel would, yeah. This is, I don't even know what this is. It's, I am in love with this brush. I'm gonna marry this brush. It's insane. Anyhow, um, okay, so that is going to be a separate video. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, like, I just keep looking at the brushes and they make me so happy. I spent this amount of brushes. It was 16 brushes. I actually gave the PR woman one of them. So this is, I think, 15 brushes now. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I, it, they just make me so happy that, yeah. Anyhow, I'm gonna um, video that separately. Uh, I'm gonna hope that this time I actually got this relatively right uh, so that I can edit this and you guys can see it, hopefully. Okay, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye.